the laws of the Old Testament can be really confusing. I think in part because we as Christians don't often read them. And when we do read them, it's just confusing and, and we read them in passing and move along. But there are some ways we can think about the Old Testament laws that can give, them, uh, give us some understanding. One way is to note that God had an intention to make Israel different than the nations. You see, Israel came out of Egypt, a, a culture that could be described as uh, practicing idolatry, immorality, and injustice. And they were going into the culture of Canaan, which was also characterized by idolatry, immorality, and injustice. And when God gave the Israelites the Ten Commandments, if you think about the Ten Commandments, they speak specifically to idolatry, immorality, and injustice. But when the Israelites broke the, broke the Ten Commandments, Jewish tradition holds that God then said that he will give them hundreds of other laws to regulate and orchestrate their lives so that they would have uh, even more resistance to practicing the ways of these other nations. So for instance, you know, sometimes we're baffled by the food regulations. Um, but just recently I read a Jewish rabbi who said, if you don't eat what the Gentiles eat, then you'll not likely eat with the Gentiles. And if you don't eat with the Gentiles, you're unlikely to marry them. And I think that he's speaking to a really important facet of at least some of these laws, and that is to keep Israel distinct from the nations, social separation. And if you think about some of the other laws, you know, God doesn't tell us why um, he commands the Israelites not to mix fibers in their clothing or not to mix seed in their fields. But if you're someone standing outside of Israel looking at this people, they're wearing funny clothes, they've got strange haircuts, they do agriculture differently than we do, and they take a day off every week. These sorts of things will make the Israelites seem peculiar, different, odd, strange, weird. In fact, another word for the word holy, they will be set apart.